Welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts today. We're reacting to season one, episode 15, our second to last episode of season one of Legacies entitled, I'll Tell You a Story. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's reaction links in the description box down below, Patreon, Twitch stream, everything in between. Jerry hanging out back there with his crown, tilting a little low, uh, just, just vibing. Last episode was solid. It wasn't as good as some of the other ones, I gotta say. Uh, it wasn't as good as episode 13. Episode 13 was immaculate. This last episode was really, really good. We get introduced to a Gorgon, uh, a brand new character. We get some jealousy issues. We get the exit, uh, albeit potentially probably just temporary with Penelope leaving. Really good character arc over the course of that. Uh, Roman has weaseled his way back in. And Mrs. G, MG's mom, after being told off by MG, has now kidnapped Landon. And he's hogtied with Ryan Clark in front of the tar pit. And that is where we're at. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. Boop. And let's watch. Any other phoenixes he's willing to give up. Well, he just came one. The knife. She recorded the voicemail with minimal resistance. Why does she know all this shit? Is she the CEO? And why'd you turn your son away? You're a real piece of work, Mrs. G. I don't like you. Well, there goes the key to the camera. You can kill me, but I'm part Phoenix, so I'm just gonna come back to life in a burst of flames, and there's gonna be a lot of ash to clean up, and after I come back, I'm not gonna know anything. I'm not here to interrogate you, Landon. In fact, I'm here so you can finally get some answers. I don't trust you, Mr. Clark. Boy's not when a fighter. They fight. created the locks to Malivore, they also created decoys. I want to toss them into the pit and unlock Malivore. Wow. So why would he want to help you? Uh, thanks for being honest. A little weird. It's refreshing, but now yeah, I'm thanks. really not going to help you. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. Oh, we're okay at it. And at the end of it, you can decide whether you want to help me or not. You think a story okay. is going to change my mind? This one will. Because it's the story of your father. Hit the fucking hashtag. Here we go. Fireworks, purple, blue, hashtag. Bloop. with the big ass Da Vinci code. I mean, that's a really cool library to be able to do that. That's kind of also, that's poor planning on, on Alaric's part if there's still books in the library that talk about the Gemini Coven's merging. That just means you don't think your daughters are smart enough to go try to find a random book to read. I'm just saying, it's fucked up. Oh my God, and my ex-boyfriend who killed my mother. Hello, Miss Mystic Falls, runner-up winner, man. <laughs> Oh, there's Raph. Another boy I have some sort of feelings for, but has a lot of feelings for me, even though I'm his best friend's girl, and I make his eyes turn orange. I blink my eyes. The orange is gone. Heads up. Basketball. Boop. Another, oh, weight ball. Oh, the old Alpha's back. Wow. Gunning for you, son. We kept a massive secret from him, and I think he just needs some time to process that. I think we should respect his privacy and just wait. Rick, you should know more than... Why would he be saying hi to Jed, bro? Come on now. Tisk tisk, I say. I think she slept in Penelope's old room, which is a really good oh. way to get hepatitis B. Stop it. Have you slept Stop at it. all? You seem a little... Focused, motivated, on point. Sure. Yeah, those Not are the words. Not sleeping in the same bedroom means that twin forgiveness cuddle is off the table, but she's been holed up in the library, so a snack offering should do the trick. At some point, you might actually have to apologize. Right, with real words. Never apologize. Mm, okay. Trust me, okay? This is what we do. I'm selfish. Clearly. And then she sulks. One prison for a banana cream pie. I mean, that's a hell of an offer, but, you know. Fuck. I'm not going back. Hey, no, he wasn't that dumb, was he? Rip that shit clean out. Here. Uh, Exo Reparo Buco, right? That's your mama, baby. Take your photo back. Where did you get this? In the pit. It's all part of what I'm about to tell you. Look, I already know about my dad. My mom got pregnant by one of the monsters in Malibor. The donkey. Is your father donkey? A werewolf and a vampire. I walked into a bar. I think I've heard this one before. Landon, bro. Let him. 
Just give him a minute. The triad. Blood of my blood. Their blood. Ooh, there we go. The triad. Black magic to create a golem capable of consuming the dragons. That's some weird shit right there, bro. So hope alone is it just they a triad. Spelled the creature to have an insatiable hunger, but their spell also made it unable to harm, which is werewolves or vampires. But not humans. They named it Eater of the Dark. Lazy. Fucking yuck, bro. So is that that big ass tar pit right there is just a melted golem? And to their surprise, the creature was more effective than they could have dreamed. That the golem ate my dad? No, Landon. Your father is the golem. Your mama fucked a golem boy. The eater of the dark. All right, that's that's nasty. My name is Wheezy, but I ain't Hi. asthmatic. Knock yourself out. The first time's kind of freaky because you're basically talking to your subconscious. He's feeling it that everything is gonna work out just fine. Can Girl, it? as soon as you get to fucking page 17 chapter 37 that's just gonna pop up you're gonna be like oh my god they kill my there and all these memories from dream world back like the whole school is vibrating we're both gonna get our people back don't do that sorry yeah you just seem tense i was trying to break the ice well the well, ice is broken i know this is a pretty accurate version of you you can thank yourself for that i guess you had something you wanted to say to me yeah um i should have told you about your mom and and the whole thing earlier i mean I was just trying to protect you from being hurt, so I just wanted to say that I'm sorry if I hurt you. But that's it? You're sorry if I hurt you? I am. But okay, you clearly hurt him. your apology if you're actually sorry. What's your problem? I mean, do you seriously think that speech would have worked on me? I mean, come on, that's not what you actually wanted to say. How would you know? Because I, I mean, am, you I'm remember? in your brain. Fine. Then you tell me what it is that I want to say, and I'll say. That's not how this works, Hope. You have to listen. Listen to what? Gone. Way to go, Hope. All they needed to do was wipe away the symbol on his forehead. <sighs> but he betrayed his creators. He made a deal with all the humans he'd saved. And they could not let their new god be taken from them. The humans set him free to wander the earth and continue consuming, erasing all memory that the monsters ever existed. That makes Over sense. Time, like Adam in the Garden of Eden, he realized he was alone. So I fucking made a mud he did woman. What all creations eventually do create. He fashioned beings like him, his children, a lineage. Oh, could... man. We were doing so good up until that part. To have a son who was part human. A son who was perfect. That was to have coitus. A son who could live forever and no. continue the species. You are what he's been trying to create now his can, entire life. Now he can shoot mud babies. All right. I mean, it's pretty believable for the most part. It's... The golem just looks like a, he looks like a Power Ranger villain, bro. And I'm sorry, I can't get that out of my brain. It's a solid origin story, though. Like, they had this thing set up, and now he's going around, and he's killing. He's, he's helping eat all the other monsters. I can I can dig it. I buy into it. We should be our own people. Mm. Well, yeah, don't worry. One day, sure. one of you will be your own person. So, congratulations. In the Gemini Coven, what happens if one of them dies early? Do they just prematurely absorb them? Or, like, how the fuck does that work? Are oh, you one of them? Indistinguishable from humans. So that's why you Our talk weird? Is a very yeah, I was, when they were fucking sitting down, I was going to be like, watch them end up being brothers. Artist. Oh, my Our God. Father? Who art in heaven? Yes. Hallowed be thy name, brother. No brother. Like I said, I was there. They do have similarly shaped Wait, heads. Stay calm. No, no, don't do this. She hasn't taken it since we saw her mom because she doesn't like the way that it makes her feel. Mm. So she tried magical bracelets and releasing her inner bitch. 
and then distracting herself with Miss Mystic Falls, but all of that is just delaying the inevitable. Letting her crash is the only way anything will ever change. Unless it gets to a point where Lizzie is fully aware of like how she needs to treat her sister, and by the time she has to do that, then she absorbs her, and then she does become just one selfish asshole. Or Joe finally forgives Josie for all, or Lizzie for all these things that she's done, and she absorbs her, and then I don't really, I don't think that they find a fucking cure for this. I, I think it has to happen, or maybe they're the first pair ever to just not do it. You know, there's no way you haven't read what's gonna happen by now. By the way. Hey, bro, I don't think you want that problem right now. Yeah, vampire, vampire boy. Is out of my face. Hey, 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 hey. Nah. Down. Nah, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do that shit around here. Hey, bro. You can't put your hands on an official. Hey, hey, wolves. Stand down. Now. Enough. Chill. Why are they listening to Roman and nobody else? That big back right bitch for walking in the seat and everything you can, bro. Big back activities. I ain't mad at you, bro. I like a nice little M&M cookie from time to time, but that doesn't mean you gotta walk around and eat every fucking thing that's ever existed, bro. Look at him. It's like the thing if you got him from Timu. And I ain't buying any of that ooh, ooh, Timu catch song. It's Timu, bro. Chill out. Vulnerable. Yep. And that's when the humans came back. They're red cloaks. Descend to natural state. Melted fucking goo. The black pit. All you had to do is wipe the mark off his forehead. Why you just get somebody to walk in and just boop, and that's it? You could, yeah, you have enough people. You could have done it. Trust. I ain't buying it. The endless darkness where the monsters are. It's not just a place. It's inside a thing, bro. It's what remains of our father. The eater of the dark. Such a terrible name. His name is Malivore. Malivore. You could have just called him Malivore instead of you Eater don't of the Dark. Me. I believe you. And let me be the one that they hate. Because you're too scared to be yourself. Ah, there you may be a... as much a part of this cycle as I am. You're That's a hell of a way to fucking deflect, though. Ooh, wee. What's that? I'll come Ooh, back wee, I say. To forgive you. Right. You're gonna siphon magic? I'll siphon magic. We're gonna bounce each other out. This is step one to trying to fucking kill each other as we hold this magical, mystical fucking mirror ball in our hands. Yeah, I'm a little stronger than you, little shit ball. And Joe, I can't believe you would do something like that. What are you apologizing for? You both attacked each other. You need to get some help. I love you. But you have to say all this to the real Landon, though. This shit don't count, bro. Oh, wow. wow. You didn't mean to say that last part, did you? No. 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 Well, one of us is going to have to kill the other one. Winner. There you go. More like absorb. Yeah, just kind of there. When Gemini twins turn 22, the merge will determine who will lead the coven. And only one will survive. That boy got stung by a Charlotte Hornet up on his fucking forehead. Trying to, find Trying to figure out how to stop you from killing each no other. One left from the Gemini Coven. No, it goes deeper than that. And you never would be ready to tell him. Like you said, when does a parent tell their kid that? You can't. There's no there's no right time. You just kind of have to do it whenever you feel like you can. But when would you ever feel like you could? He makes solid points. They can't really be mad at him for not telling them, especially with the way he describes it. Because in his eyes, that's his two little babies. That's his two little girls. And it's... That's one of those things that he doesn't know. When's the, when was the last time they danced together? When was the last time, you know, they took those stumbly steps? When was the last time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Like, one day it's just, it's just not happening, you know? Oof. Poor Rick. That could be a whole side spiel. We'll, just, we'll leave it. We'll leave it be. No matter what they say at that school, you're not one of them. You that's fucked that. up. That's that's his friends, Don't his you? girlfriend, his buddies, the guy that killed I'm him, all of them. You a family who actually wants you. 
we can raise our father. And we can destroy Triad. What's it gonna be? It's gotta be that Holy Grail, man, the chalice. The mortal cup by the angel. Cheers, brother. But I will need another race. Be around you, Hope. I don't want to feel this way. So I push it down. Mm. And that just makes the split in my brain worse, which makes it harder to hide. And the only person that I want to talk about it with is the only person I can. Bro, you got a crush. That's all it is. Just. If she tells you no, take it at face no. value. Tell him no right now. Good brother. But for once, you need to put yourself first. Do what you need to get better. Things get really bad. That's not the thing to say right there in that moment. Because he just probably wants to grab your ass. Use this. Now, go. Go save our boy. Yeah, go save your boy for Don't let anything stop you. Crossbows. Oh, damn. I don't think that blade was for. I don't think it did anything, but they're coming in with fucking crossbows. And... <laughs> Hashtag bloop, and that'll lead us into our season one finale. As Josie discovers a secret Alaric has been keeping while Lizzie helps Landon and Hope reconcile that'll lead us right on in to the season one finale triad versus the salvatore school of the gifted raf not able to tag along on a secret super squad mission but they're coming to them now so him and him and hope's relationship grows a little bit but the big thing is that she just sat there and told virtual mythological landon hey i love you and he was like Goo -goo gaga so there's a lot. Lizzie and Josie now know about the merge. In just a few years, one of them is going to absorb the other and lead a coven that does not, no longer exist. And they have this curse. Like Rick said, there was never a right time to tell you all, but there was a right time to go make up with Dorian, as he does. No MG this episode. Heavy, heavy, heavy exposition on Malivore and what that creature is. Which feels like episode 16 will be them getting the last relic and then a showdown to stop them and then bing, bam, boop. Maybe season two, there's a whole new story, but this feels like it should be going on for a lot longer. The Gemini Coven is revealed. They now have to live with that. I want to see the reaction to that going into the next one. So I will keep this outro super short so we can watch. So one, I can pee, but two, we can watch the finale. Season 1, episode 15. I'll tell you a story. Season 1, episode 16, there's always a loophole. And that loophole will be how they probably save the day. So short one today, uh, but your finale hopefully will be pretty intense. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.